Hey, what's up folks? So today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own VR chat avatar. All it's going to take is one selfie. That's about it. And then you have a Ready Player One-esque avatar that looks just like you. That's right, it's going to be next level. So I hope this is going to be useful. With that being said though, let's uh, jump right in and I'll demonstrate how this all works. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, what you need to know is that you can do this on any device you want. You can use uh, your uh, mobile phone, tablet, computer or laptop. It doesn't really matter as long as you have a working webcam, a working uh, camera, you should be good to go. And then, then you want to launch your internet browser and go to the following website called readyplayer.me slash VRChat. And on there, you should be seeing this, yes. And when you scroll down, you can find a bunch of information. But the most important thing you should remember is that these avatars are cross-platform. So they work on the Oculus Quest and they work on PC VR headsets. Isn't that sweet? So let's uh, tap or click on the Create Your Avatar button that is in the middle of this website. Choose a body type. There is masculine, feminine, or you don't specify it at all. That's up to you, be my guest. And now, now we have to take that famous selfie. We have to take one with a neutral face and good lighting. And the reason why is because if you don't do all of that, you might end up with an avatar that doesn't look like you at all. So you have been warned. Take your time, find a good spot and nail that selfie. On the bottom of this page, we can find the terms of use and privacy policy. Do keep in mind that you automatically accept those the moment you uh, start the process when you take that photo so you might want to dive deeper into that first so um, let's uh, do it let's uh, take a selfie this is it this is my moment oh yeah i shouldn't laugh sorry poker face Okay, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. This should definitely do the trick. So now we have to wait until it's done generating my avatar. I can't wait, I'm so excited. A few moments later. And it's finished folks. It was able to perfectly create an avatar that looks uh, just like me. This is seriously impressive. Let me zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. So it was able to nail my facial features and I even have the matching hair. What else could you wish for? Yeah, the system did all the work for me, but that doesn't uh, stop me from showing you the customization because there are over 200 options of uh, things you can change about your avatar. I'm not going to be able to show you everything, but uh, I'll try, I'll try. Let's casually scroll through the different sections. So the first one, is, uh, is the skin uh, tones. So here are a bunch of, uh, of those. It's cool that you can create as many avatars as you want. There is no, uh, no limit. And that comes in handy when you dive into the outfit uh, department because there are so many amazing outfits that you can wear. You can go full uh, full business or full futuristic the possibilities are uh, are endless i love the the color combinations uh, by the way it really shows that a lot of work and effort went into this uh, website wait are those pajamas <laughs> yes oh that's so cute so if you want you can hop around within the metaphors in your pgs I totally, totally approve. So I did see something I want to rock. Oh, this, this is it. I'm going full cyberpunk all the way. Next up are the hairstyles. There is a lineup of long hair, short hair, or, or no hair. Oh, I wish, I wish I had hair like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get jelly. It's uh, fantastic to see that they give you the opportunity to really create an avatar that is truly unique. Hair colors. We can go full rainbow. Ooh, 
oh, that matches my outfit. Oh, I might create another one that has just that. You can go weld, you can go creative. Beards, uh, this section is gonna hurt because I can't grow a beard. I tried, trust me, but it didn't work out. Okay, okay. I'm surprised how many, how many you get to choose. Eyes, so this is only the eye color, not, not the eye shape itself. This is work in progress, so they are going to add more features uh, along the way. Eyebrows, I'm no expert. Oh, that makes me angry. <laughs> Very angry. Glasses. Whoa! <laughs> are you seeing this? <laughs> I would totally wear that. I would totally wear that. That's so trippy. <laughs> oh, AR glasses. I'm drowning in glasses. Did they also add a pair of Matrix-inspired uh, glasses? Because that would be perfect. Makeup. Oh, this turns me into uh, an android. Oh, this one is sweet. This one is so sweet. 6'9"? Are you kidding me? I think someone at the... Dev team is a big fan of 6 9 and decided to honor him inside uh, this app. Ready for Halloween and why so serious? Oh, it's one of the best movies. Hats! There are no hats. Not yet. Well, that's disappointing, but I'm sure they are working on that too. So, we're done! Well, I'm not going to wear that makeup. I almost forgot to take that off. <laughs> so, let's uh, hit the button getting your avatar ready oh surprise me i can't wait i can't wait so we're now going to import it to vr chat or we get the option to download the avatar and throw it into unity or blender that's for the more experienced uh, uh, vr enthusiasts uh, out there but if you are a noob or a dummy like me you just want to import. I have to log in now. Good luck uh, remembering your details. Ah, an application would like to connect to your account. That's definitely my profile. <laughs> and it says the app Ready Player Me by Ready Player Me would like the ability to view your user profile. Allow Ready Player Me access? Yes, yes please. Okay, great news folks, uh, they are now preparing my avatar, it's going to take 10 to 15 minutes and then it should pop up inside uh, VR chat. Uh, I guess it's going to be in the avatar uh, part of the menu. So um, yeah, let's uh, grab some Dutch uh, snacks and uh, wait it out for a moment. You want some too? Cool, I'll, I'll make some extra and then we uh, grab the quest and dive into the metaphors and Become the avatar. Ooh, let's do this. One eternity later. Hello. So as you can see, I am now in glorious virtual reality. My avatar has been successfully uploaded to VRChat's uh, database. It uh, appeared inside my, uh, my avatar section of the menu. I selected it and then uh, I became the avatar that I created on my phone, by the way. Isn't that next level? This was so simple. This was so easy. I can now use this avatar to explore these stunning worlds and meet up with all these fun people that we call the VR chat community. And there you go. This is probably one of the most uh, consumer friendly ways of creating your very own Ready Player One esque uh, avatar. I love it. And I can't wait to see this system getting rolled out into more games, more experiences and more applications. I would love to see one big ecosystem in where we will be able to seamlessly travel from one world to the other with just one avatar. That's the dream. And Wolf 3D has already said that their goal is to make Ready Player One a reality, a virtual reality. And that's something that I totally support. 
If you are interested in what else they are up to, then check out their website. Link is in the description below. And let me know in the comments below what you think of all of this. Do you also want a avatar creation system that is universal, that works across the board? So you don't have to worry about having to make a new identity every time you download a game or experience. It would be just so nice to have one identity that you can use wherever you uh, you are so with that being said i want to thank you so much for watching if this video was useful then be sure to slam that like button and uh, bye bye for now see you uh, in the metaphors